Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion Play Slay the Spire. With a defect. What an incredible world we find ourselves in. I don't- dude! It's- it's these two. Obtain a random colorless uncommon or obtain a hundred gold. I think early, I would rather have the card. Just because I think that the card does something for us immediately when our deck is at its weakest, and the gold doesn't do crap for us until we hit a shop, and even then, it might be a little touchy, but... Um, last time I played as the Defect was not on video, it was off camera, and I won for the first time ever on Ascension 20. Obviously, I'm hoping to replicate that. Um, no promises. <laughs> That's basically what it comes down to. You gotta play Zap, you gotta play Dual Cast. They did turn it into a tough choice, to be honest. Um, whatever one we weaken should be the one that we don't focus on killing. Yeah, okay. Smart. Wise. Genius. Calvin Klein. Obsession. Couldn't have killed him even with the strike, so even putting up an insignificant amount of block is... Uh, it's nice. That was actually a decent fight. Don't shoot the messenger. But early on, I really think you'll like Asunder. And I very rarely take this card, except when I want to go LIGHTNING AND THE SUNDER! But... No. No, 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 no. Uh, I think that... It's just... This is terrible. It's very likely, uh... To be a free kill. Like, if we had drawn it on the first turn, this whole fight, you know, is, is completely changed. We didn't, so unfortunately, you know, there's nothing we can do about that. Doom and Gloom for AoE, for sure. But the Defect is a very, very interesting character. Honestly, if we're not able to put up any block whatsoever, first off, I'm inclined to say that the game is screwing us pretty badly here, but secondarily, um, you know, we might as well go for our best attack. Now, I was just about to say the Defect's a very interesting character, because of the fact that, uh, you know, you never know where you're going, or you, you can't really force an archetype until you, uh, you see where you're at, right? Until you see if you get the cards that enable you to do what you want to do in the first place. However, they've given us a Bias Cognition, which means we can build a focus deck. Bias Cognition was a big part of my Ascension 20 victory. It's a bit dicey, but... What do, what did we also have, like, alongside of that? Come on. Get him, Dad. Oh, it's the wrong enemy. It's alright. You know, this Dark Orb, if we can evoke it properly, we're in a great spot. What else did I have? I mean, Consume was a big one. Thanks for the energy, nerd. On my planet, nerds have their pants pulled down, and they're spanked with moon rocks. A wise man once said that. I repeat it to you now. You're gonna live. That's a war crime. You should be ashamed. There we go. Our Dark Orb did nothing for us, basically, but... Give me the auto shields. Um, we clearly need more defense. I'm not too attached to this run, by the way. You might be like, NL, things are looking a little spotty. I, I certainly do not disagree. Um, but I'm not too attached to this run, despite the early bias cognition. Of course, I would love to, uh, you know, not be killed. Because I think that having a bias cognition early is, is a gift that you don't normally get. But, uh, you know, I've learned maybe don't be too attached to the run early. Um, if we make it through the first boss, then we can start to talk about feeling a little bit better, but... Oh my lord, that's good. Okay, so hit him with that one. What do we want now? We actually should be taking more focus. I went for some raw blocks early, but... Um, I think... Uh, did I say focus? I meant frost. I think we would be uh, very pleased now if we were able to maybe take... Uh, Cool headeds, which we had the opportunity, but we did take leap instead. And I'll stand by that, but um, you know, there there's room to grow. Let's put it that way. 
with where we're at here. Um, out of these, I actually am going to start to remove basic strikes, because we're at the point where, me personally, I would expect lightning to do much of our damage. I don't think our basic strikes... I mean, who's our boss? Hexaghost? I do think we, we have a problem. Hello, Tomo. Uh, against the Hexaghost, just because of the fact that he's got 250 HP. But uh, I... I mean, that's kind of like full stop. I don't know where we go from there. I'm going to take a white noise, and the white noise is a pure gamble play. We're just going to hope that this gives us the kind of power that can maybe propel us through this boss fight. I don't mind taking two damage to weaken you a little bit. Hello, Tomo. Tomo's more interested in cleaning his butt than he is in getting petted on the top of his head. And you know what? I support that. When a man's got to go, a man's got to go. All right. This should be very interesting. We need to be very cautious about when we play cool-headed. Not cool-headed. Bias cognition. So I think... Uh, We're not really upgrading for this boss fight. We're upgrading for future fights. And I think that uh, Blind is the best card to upgrade for our third floor. Or second floor, I should say. So Storm is almost useless. We always have uh, Gambler's Brew here to get us to the, the blocks if we need it. We're not going to play Biased early. So what, what are we going to do? We're actually going to just like swap out the whole remainder of the deck here and having this dark orb out here is fantastic all we want to do now is be very cautious about when we actually invoke the dark orb and i mean a dual cast is fine that doesn't bother me but we would love to have this be dual casted for like at least 100 damage now that we got two dark orbs we can be a little bit more aggressive i think but we got to get them pretty quick I would rather not Sunder. Like, I, I actually like that a lot right there. So we want to... I think we can win by dual casting both of the Dark Orbs. Um, I, I also think now is a totally acceptable time to throw out this Biased. It did... Because I'm dumb, I forgot about the fact that that was going to evoke a Dark Orb. Life goes on, I suppose. 18 damage coming out here. Um, we're just going to... Let it ride. It's going to be very scary. Um, that Dark Orb's popping, though. Can't afford to get rid of this. We know we're drawing Dual Cast on the next turn, and it'll kill you. So, as far as I'm concerned, I'm a genius. Now, we don't want to rely on our Dark Orbs for the future, necessarily. But for that fight specifically, they did us a great service. Electrodynamics is a fantastic card. And do not at me. Velvet Choker will be fine here. I don't think we've got the 10 out of 10 easiest win ever made. But I think we're well... Yikes, the elites are so bad here. We want to, like, fight this one. Because otherwise, we, we have to fight two, and we still don't get the rest afterwards. Yeah, this... I mean, we're, we're kind of getting screwed by the... Um, by the floor generation here. So we're very lucky that we have enough block. But this is also why I upgraded Blind. It was specifically with this fight in mind. And we didn't draw it on the turn where we wanted it. But, you know, so what? No damage coming in. Um, you're taking... You're dead in before you can act. You're the more dangerous one because you're about to gain some strength. So Electrodynamics was... As far as I'm concerned, you can, you know, take this to the bank. If you're interested. But, uh... As far as I'm concerned, uh, Electrodynamics is worth more than an Energy Relic. I will take one st upgraded Steam Barrier. I, I've underrated the Christ out of Steam Barrier for stupid reasons. I've been like, well, I don't want to take it because it, it, after you play it two times, it'll be worse than a regular block. Uh, hey, moron. This is me talking to myself. Well, I don't love this, but... 
You know what? Weaken the crap out of him. Just get this stuff out there. Uh, hey, moron. If you have to play any individual card more than two times on a boss fight, you're probably screwed anyway. So, you know, start... I'm not saying put Steam Barrier into every deck willy-nilly, but, you know, there, there's value in it. Sunder, still playable, I guess, thankfully. More cool headeds. What we really want to see are... Consumes, so we actually maybe should have fished for one there, but... I also, you know... I saw the opportunity uh, to give us not just an easier fight here, but maybe even upgrade a card in advance of our elite fight. 18 damage, still pretty bad. Velvet Choker's getting close, but it has not uh, actually hurt us yet, so... He's dead next turn. All we have to do is uh, hit end, end turn and we're safe, but there you go. Decent fight. Will I rest? I gotta think about it. Let's see what this is. Remove a card or upgrade? For now, we will upgrade. Okay, so we want this fight. Um, dude, I hate to do it, but I think we are... Personally, I think this is a rest. Just to keep us alive. Because the elite fights, if it's, the, if it's three weak enemies, it's not so bad. If it's um, one strong enemy, two weak enemies, it's not good, but it's not so bad. So we're at 15 block. Let's get the Dark Orb out there for, for raw damage. Um, if it's one very strong enemy that also happens to be a book, <laughs> that's where our life is going to be in a little bit more trouble. Yeah, I think we're happy here. It's not a book, so this is the middle difficulty, in my opinion. Lots of damage output. At least we, we drew everything we needed there. Um, and we're not going to take damage. We really... Early Electro is of peak importance here, for sure. Um, I think we accept we might... Oh, never mind. I forgot about the skills. Okay, so it's the same protocol. Uh, if we can do it properly, the Dark Orb is very useful. Ah, uh, we have to Electro. I'm sorry to lose the Dark Orb, but it, it's well worth it. And we're actually going to summon a bunch of Lightning on top of this, so... Yeah, you probably throw a Sunder out there. We're actually going to make it through the Elite fight just fine. Uh, I would love to see start each combat with one focus. I, I do want to not take damage, sure. Uh, you know what? We can play these, and then you're actually dead, which is hilarious. Um, Tori is also fine, as long as we pay attention. Now, Consume is absolutely mission critical. We're incredibly blessed to have it. We need either a Compacitor. Did I call it a Compacitor? Google DeepMind, please forgive me. Um, I didn't mean like that, but still that's helpful. Um, we either need Capacitor or Auto Inserter. And I'm not going to call a free victory. That's reckless. Forget the dual cast. Unnecessary. Um, but we have a real honest-to-goodness chance. If if that comes to pass. So there's 18 block. Get one of these out there. Beautiful. Um, the other thing that allowed us to win on Ascension 20 off-camera, believe it or not, was a relic. And the relic was... Pantograph. Because it gave us a means to heal between boss fights. So I took like 20 damage in the first two turns. Uh, and then from that point onwards... We took zero. And then we healed the full for the second boss fight. Which is the real challenge of Ascension 20 to begin with. Um, we're, we're drawing garbage right now. This takes us to 32, which is enough. We really just need some lightning orbs to be out there, or to get the dark orb all the way around. I, 
I didn't actually think we were going to be able to make it. <laughs> but we did. Uh, so the real value, by the way, of consume... Is uh, that if we get the ability to play consume consistently... It, well, I mean, the real value is that it gives you focus. But the indirect value is that on top of all that, it, it uh, allows you to play bias cognition early. And yet still... No, I'll fight here. It allows you to play bias cognition early and still maintain the kind of focus that allows you to, uh, you know, basically not fall behind. We definitely want to avoid losing two decks if possible. That's enough block, so let's, uh, I don't know who we start beating on. Let's start beating on Romeo. Question marks scare me a little bit. So an, an Electrodynamics on this turn would be incredible. We probably should have blocked the Focus downgrade as well. Much damage? 12, 24, 34 damage. Come on. Yo, let's go. So it's actually only 24. We're out ahead. Again, an Electrodynamics. There we go. We got it. It does a lot for us. 15 damage. Um, a Consume is fine, but I think we can guarantee a death like this. And we're taking one damage thanks to Tori, which means, dude, you are toast. Beautiful fight, actually. No complaints. I, I actually, I don't value Chaos that much right now, just because I think it's very dangerous to not know what card is coming up. Not having Electro here is pretty bad. Just for the purposes of getting, you know, as much uh, lightning out there ASAP as possible. I'm actually gonna do this just to do 5 damage. Every little bit helps, I suppose. We really want focus. Um, and this is still 8 block. L we'll crunch the numbers. This takes us to 12 block. Well, he, uh, the numbers are a little hard to crunch, actually. What if we play a zap? This. That actually takes us to 8 block total, which I think is terrible. What if we play a defend and then a consume? It takes us from 4 block to 4 block, but it does make the dark orb a little bit better. And it doesn't use the Dark Orb, which I think I, I prefer because we can still have a turn to dual cast it, maybe. And we were lucky enough to get that here. Um, I mean, we're, to, we're gonna play our hand, there's no other options, so it's gonna be Bias Cognition. A uh, Bias Cognition. We have 16 block. And you're dead. You're not dead, but you're dead. You're dead! Okay! I don't think we need another Steam Barrier, but it has been very good for us. This is like... We want Electro as soon as possible, please. Also good. Um, hold on. Start here. There's 19 damage. I refuse to use our block potion uh, to prevent less than 12 damage. There are so many better opportunities for, for us to pop it out there. So we are going to lose two focus per turn. I will stand by that. We still are are desperately seeking a capacitor. We might as well get this out there for free. Okay. Double energy is interesting. Forgive me, I don't think we need it. FTL, I actually also don't think is necessary. Um... I'm, I'm going to take the double energy just for the chance that it's it's important in the future, but it's not important in the now. You might not believe me. We should have played two more skills maybe just to get the letter opener. So I'm pr pretty close. We're only going to take one damage here. I and mean, I, I guess that's another 5 damage that there wasn't much reason to ignore. Um, we could smoke bomb. 
if we have to. We're not going to have to. I'm taking one more damage. We're going to roll two potions into our boss fight, which is very nice. Okay, capacitor, please. It's very painful. Um, I really... <laughs> uh, if we get a core search, yes, bias cognition is good. Problem is, it's different than most cards. Every bias cognition we play is worse than the one that came before it because it stacks uh, focus reduction without necessary I mean you just run the numbers when you get to four bias cognitions you gain four focus for one turn and then immediately lose it it's pretty bad and then because on the next turn you go to negative four I think we'll just take a melter I don't think we're in a position to need two of those now consume being upgraded is very important but I stand by the idea that you know we we basically it's not a bad power I stand by the idea that we basically uh, need to rest just to guarantee our own survival. And I think that that's a very decent idea. I don't mind taking 16 damage. We know for a fact uh, that one consume is kind of like the optimum play. So to get that out there, it makes orbs easier to evoke. I really don't mind that this guy's sequestering um, a card that actually could do us a lot of damage. So uh, we are gonna, we have to be careful on this one. I'm gonna play double energy, but keep in mind we have Velvet Choker. Old NL wouldn't have even paid attention to that. So we have three more cards left. Um, he's actually going to die and spit out Bias Cognition. There's no need to play or not play anything. So Bias can't... Well, it could be drawn as early as this turn, but it probably won't be. Probably is a dangerous word in this game. 24. Yeah, I'd still rather block than even take one damage on necessarily. We don't really want to play another consume. What we do want to do is, uh, like a doom and gloom is extremely valuable. 58 damage. The weakness is extremely great. I think we got to start popping. But I will not, I mean, we're only taking eight damage here. I'm actually gonna I'm gonna take that down to zero. I know I I know what I said about uh, this earlier, but still, I don't really want to dual cast this, but I will just to keep the orbs flowing around because lightning also does a lot of damage. So I mean, 52 damage out of a single orb is not bad. We need more lightning out there. Actually, the only lightning we can evoke is really a zap. 30 damage. We got 12 block. We need the zap, unfortunately. It's 24. Um, so we, we take no damage. We're not really chunking him as fast as I'd like, but and, you know the, it's starting to get a little more critical. We could consume, but I think we just stick to the principles that we've already adhered to for so long. This Dark Orb, if you can dual cast that, you're in a pretty good spot. He's doing 48 damage. Okay. Um, we're cool-headed. We're not going to cool-headed again. Dual cast is coming back around. It might only be 30 damage. Might might be 45. That's okay. Um, I think here you accept. You know you're you're gonna start taking damage. I think I would rather do 18 damage and at least put up eight more block. He's not doing much this turn. It's our dual cast for 60 something, and we're gonna play these three as well for five more damage. <laughs> We're gonna get him, okay? We're probably gonna get him. Look, things change. Are we living right now? Well, I mean, I have to look at it. If I do 10, you're not gonna die. 
If I play this, you're going to take 5 damage. And then you're going to be at 14. Not going to kill you. Are we going to live? 39 plus 4, 43. He's doing 52. No, you wouldn't. I'm not happy with that one. I really... I, We did lack a little, but we're going back. We're going back to the well. I felt like we were making some decent plays. Give me a common relic. Bronze scales is fine. So we will probably not be so lucky as to receive another uh, bias cognition. You gotta roll the dice on it, unfortunately. As to receive another bias cognition early, but hey, you know, we we still did okay on that one. Maybe we popped our own bias a turn early. I do think you need a reinforced body just for maybe big plays. It's very nice. Him hitting me, he's not gonna be in killable range, but you know, it's the thought that counts. So we're going to be a little bit more elite aggressive here. Um, how could we have done better on the last one? I don't want to talk about it, okay? Taking ball lightning for a little bit of early damage output. As far as I'm concerned, if we can take zero and deal six damage to him, that's a win for us. And I'm playing a little too quick here. I can feel the anger coursing through my veins. You know, wait, hold on. This will not kill you. So actually, let's just do this. And then he's dead. I do like Claw. I don't know if it has a place with the build that we're presently running. I think you really gotta, you know, as soon as you commit to Claw, you're kinda, I don't wanna say all in, but you know what you're up to. Nine damage, does not bother me. Definitely should dual cast you. You'll be dead next turn. We've been doing really well on floor fights. This is uncommonly good for a, a starting-ish deck. Creative AI is very interesting, but I also think kind of bad without a power synergy. That's one I'm willing to wait on. I don't really care if you take my gold. This is a tough fight. It's a very tough fight to have just before an, an elite fight as well. Yikes. Um, so we're taking 16 damage in advance of this elite fight. What elite would I most uh, like to face? What a, what a fantastic and yet simultaneously terrifying question. I don't know what elite we would fare the best against. My heart says the Lagavulin. I don't think we need any of those yet. This is not the Lagavulin, but do we get AoE? We don't get AoE. Well, we do get AoE, but we're, we're much happier to instead just get a Meteor Strike. Does a lot of damage in and of itself, and also opens us up to getting one of these enemies killed ASAP. Gives us a good energy base. We should make it through this fight reasonably easily at this point. You gotta kill him. Like, sure, I would love not to have to, but... Now, Meteor Strike is gonna come back around. Um, it's not unplayable. We just need to be able to dual cast into it or have charged battery on the previous turn. I'm willing to give up the energy orb to kill you. Possibly get you this turn, but we need to hit you for eight, which is unlikely. Anyway, you're now dead. That was a good fight. Thank you, Attack Potion, for saving me. Um, I think I will take a Sunder, which is 32 damage immediately, because it's pre-upgraded thanks to Molten Egg. Molten Egg is an incredibly good relic. I think we just stall for our next turn. No Sunder, but I still think you pop here. Because you gotta you gotta choose wisely, right? We could wait one more turn and then play the Sunder, but I I don't mind guaranteeing the Sunder on this turn as well. 
we could draw it again. I was just gonna say we could draw it again immediately after. And I think I'm willing to take another 20 to swing it. Knowing that my dude is super dead. We will need the rest. And the courier is not what we want. Nor is barrage, but... You know, I think early on, we, so we sometimes struggle against the boss on this floor just for lack of having damage, so... 289 is way higher than we'd normally be here. I will take Lee's Waffle, which I think is a merciful get. And we can afford both FTL and self-repair. I think that's an incredible, that's a dream world for us. More treasure, please. You know what? Curse me with regret. Curse me with regret. I got ancient tea set. <laughs> don't, don't do it. Okay. So we're admittedly, you know, being a little bit over aggressive here, but I think it's one of those situations where, hey, if you got it, flaunt it. What do we have here? Well, you know, no meteor strike, but in theory, at least the opportunity to get a relic that could be very important for us without really, let's go costing us very much in the whole scheme of things. Maybe it costs us one upgraded card. We would trade an upgraded card for a relic in like literally every situation. And he's dead. We might not even choose to rest. We might still choose to upgrade. Or a Calcum is well worth it. I'll take a second FTL. Um, so if we're gonna Smith, it's probably a Zap. I mean, Reinforced Body does get quite a good bit better, but... Yeah, I think Zap actually still feels pretty good on this fight specifically because of the fact that we need to do damage via orbs. And I, I really think we should try to get something out there earlier. Probably the smartest uh, Gambler's Brew I've used in recent memory. Please, uh, do not at me. You know, if we hit him, we still get six block back. I don't know, maybe it was worth it. Thank God for bronze scales is all I'm thinking right now. Really want to see a reinforced body. Oh my God, we've done it. Still need to pop out some, some real damage there, but I mean, this is going to help. Then Asunder. No Sunder. It's, uh, 12 damage plus 9. It's enough to roll ya. Sounds good to me, boys. This is not the turn on which you wish to have Sunder, but I still think it's worth it. One Sunder wins us the game. Or wins us the floor. Let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. This is basically one block. I think I would... I mean, I'll, I'll play it for one block. I could hit you twice. No, I think we're, we're so much better off just putting ourselves in like... I mean, you're literally dead as long as we didn't uh, draw the curse and eight cards. So, lucky us. All for one can be very, very good. But core surge... I mean, buffer is also amazing. I like all of this. I don't think we can roll Sneko. I think we have to go Busted Crown. I'm not incredibly excited about the start of this run. But, uh, mostly because it's not Frost Focus. But, that doesn't mean it's it's entirely beyond saving. No AoE. Very bad here. Um, we take one damage, we do six, and we heal for seven at the end of combat. I mean, that's as, it's as good as it gets. Just gonna say, four energy does put us in a wonderful Sunder range. Which is basically what's working out right now. You are dead. We do need to remove Regret, but so far so good. Forget Bullseye for now. All of our attacks are upgraded, but if anything, in my opinion, it just means we should be even more choosy. We already have one curse to remove. I don't, I don't really want to double down on that. 
Um, it's not great, um, but bronze scales plus, you know, reinforced body can do some work for us here. Yes, this will work. It won't work well. But it at least blocks a decent chunk. You need self-repair. Very nice. Uh, reinforced body for two will kill this guy. Yeah, HP is still hanging pretty steady here. And dude, Sunder has been so much more valuable for us on this one. Uh, I will take another ball lightning. I think the damage output from that is, is meaningful. We just have like a good deck as far as attacks go right now, but I do think we we suffer, um, you know, what I might describe as even a decent amount from a, a lack of like growth. Like we don't really gain much on this run. By which I mean we don't get uh, stronger. So stuff like boss fights in particular has me. Feeling a little touchy. I mean, we could have played defend and not lost one HP, but then we would have had one less block. So, I mean, hopefully you understand my my line of reasoning there. Melter is totally fine. Uh, we have to remove regret. Direct HP loss is very bad. But then, do you take anchor? Do you take a third FTL? Do you take? I I I, I don't see Defrag doing it for us this time. I do, I mean, I like an FTL. Potions also could have been viable. Um, I gotta be honest, I, I do, I think a second Sunder. I don't know if I would feel comfortable saying we're building the run around it, but I think there's something to it. We have six energy. I think I might uh, do this elite fight. Really wanted a core surge there. Twenty-four damage, huh? And you're at thirty-five. Jesus will not kill you. We could use an energy relic to maybe sneak through this one. Oh my god, it's not even going to work. You will die on the second attack, thankfully, but... No, forget that, dude. With the treasure chest, we got to hit that question mark path. Just stay strong. Early core surge, please. All right, well, we're in real Sneko hours. Give me some Sunders. Do hoo hoo. Uh, forget about zero cost Sunders. How about uh, zero cost everything? This is an extremely great fight for us. We got insanely lucky. Okay, I mean, Mercury Hourglass is just a little bit of a faster means of killing. Uh, or doing the same thing that we were already kind of doing. Uh, with the uh, bronze scales, I suppose. Well, yeah, it's slightly different. It's different enough to matter. Um, I mean, it helped us out immediately right there, as you saw. And we're getting the, so much more value than I ever would have anticipated out of uh, these Sunders. It's, it, really, it's the extra energy that's helping us... Oh, we should have tried to draw... For sure. Um, but the fact that we're able to play unattack and then also do 30 damage is is really the most important factor there. We're getting a lot of energy refunds. 30 damage for free is real good. Now, these will kind of suck against the boss. If we can play this for three, we're in the clear. So, I don't mind it. We do definitely want to draw self-repair coming around. 
the more we can upgrade cards, the, the happier we're gonna be. So actually, it's a good time to stall. Um, hopefully he's healing himself, thank you. And just continue to do so if you don't mind. I obviously uh, could kill you very easily, but I'm gonna hold off just a little bit in the hopes of drawing uh, seven extra HP, please. I don't wanna put him even close to death here. Keep healing yourself, this is perfect. Okay, how about this? All right, keep, doesn't bother me at all. Keep it up, boys. There's self-repair and you are just toast, my man. So I do worry right now that this deck is, uh... oh, I would love that extra core surge, man. I do worry right now that this deck is good against floor fights and bad against elites. I hope that does not prove to be the case. I think having a little bit of an extra block for uh, big boss attacks is probably wise. But let's see. Okay, so this is exactly what I would have wanted. Um, and I'm extremely pleased to have Echo Form. <laughs> Just use your noggin here. To, right off the bat, I'll tell you. You're going to Echo Form the Christ out of this Core Surge. There's nothing better we could have done from a block perspective there. So now we got two artifacts. Extremely good. I will just take the energy savings there. I know, you know, the frailty is very bad, but the idea is that hopefully we won't have to deal with that frailty again. Well, never mind. We're immediately going to deal with the frailty again. I, I still like this move. I can do 64 damage to you immediately. Very hard for me to say no to that. Weak and vulnerable. Well, we can't really block for much here, so... I mean, if I'm being honest with you, we have to go on this guy real freaking quick. He's gonna take one turn to heal up and remove debuffs. It's a very important turn for us to, you know, let's say do 40-something damage to him. And then next turn, hopefully, somehow continue with that. He is doing 44 damage. Even this won't keep us alive. It's only 36 plus 6. That's devastating, dude. Why do it then? Well, it, it, it's a weird you know, situation where it's still our best option. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. If you did click the like button, it's a great deal. We, we, we were doing stuff there that didn't really fit with my preferred archetype, but I don't think we did too badly. And uh, we, we've made some decent plays and points there. I'll be back with the Ironclad next time. Don't lose faith. I just got a faith injection. Probably shouldn't say it like that. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya.